camera died for qualifying, so no qualifying footage. Um, the track is bumpy. You'll see in some of the future racing onboards, it's really bumpy. So bumpy that Chris has managed to get his wheel arch pulled out by his tire. So we're just doing some professional bodywork to fix it. Oh. You on well, Chris? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know where you are on the grid yet? Yeah, yeah, fourth. 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 So Chris is fourth. I'm tenth. Top ten for the first time. Yeah, brilliant. Pleased about that. Yeah. We don't know the track. No, Doing our best, never been. We? I was just saying my camera died right before the quality, so no footage. But we we'll, get a little bit for mine. Yeah, we'll I'll steal some of yours. But yeah. in the race, should be good. Might even catch a glimpse of Chris in the first corner for the first time. If I'd had the camera on, you would have seen this fella here giving it absolute Billy Big Bollocks straight out of the pits for qualifying. Um, the car's cool. Oh, it's yours? Yeah, it's yeah. Just having a look, we're in the other EGs. Yeah, I know, I've seen the YouTube video. We're just talking to the man here, and he reckons this is under a ton with driver. So considerably lighter than mine and Chris's cars, but it's not a K24, just a K20, this one. Um, He's just racing here as a guest, so I don't think he's going to be a regular at the 750, but it's nice, he's got a proper carbon bonnet. It's got fiberglass doors, which he says are super high quality. You don't have to worry about them. Thank you. So it looks like this is the Castle Coombe hot hatch offering. We missed Gary the race start, but we'll get the restart. Accelerated away from Nick Gwinnett. He's going to be a couple of seconds or so ahead of Nick Gwinnett by the time they get to the start line. There's another place to restart by Gwinnett in second place. Then think I'm sure uh, Lewis Clark in third and Sean Gobert in fourth. We're saying get on with it, Nick. Come on, let's try and go with Gary Preble. It might be a forlorn chase, but then let's we'll the make a go. But anyway, green flag waves. Race is back underway. Just prepping for race one now. We're not going to change much on the car. The front end feels a little bit too soft and the rear end feels a little bit too soft. Everything feels really soft because the circuit is really bumpy, really undulating, which you will see. Um, I'm leaving it as it is. I went all right, qualified 10th. So if I can keep that pace, if we finish top 10, I'll be pleased. If we finish, I'll be pleased. Hey? Race one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh. We were talking to me. He's getting like, yeah, involved. Was. That was race one, that wasn't was it? Race one. How did, did we do? Really, you did really well, Joe. How did Chris I was do? Really impressed. He did really well as well. What number did he finish in? Fourth. 
Chris finished fourth. in fourth. So once did, again, a podium battle place. for cow number 37. This is the fast of the two EGs. And then this one's climbing the ranks. Went up from 10th to 8th through the course of the race. You'll see I was overdriving the car a little bit to try and catch up to those two guys in front who were doing pretty similar lap times. Have a look at the lap times when we get back. Chris did well, we already know he finished Chris, fourth. What did we have? Yeah, we, we had a couple of guys ahead in EP3s. Uh, a bit too fast out there. First time at the track, so what can we do? Like, pop, yeah. pop the cherry today. You can't make up for two days worth of testing just by being fast. Yeah, I've only done 18 laps here now. Tomorrow. So we're going to the 115s, quite happy with that. Start oh, 115. The yeah. Nice. The I did a 16 2 apparently. Yeah. I'm not sure, I need to check. That's what Josh said. Tomorrow we've got two more races, mm -hmm. so That's we'll see nice. you then. Not sure. Did we vlog anything after the race yesterday? So we're back at Coombe for day two. Don't know if I vlogged anything after yesterday's race because I was on a bit of a high. We did really well. The car took some damage, which at this point you will have seen some onboards so you saw me do a bit of off-roading we've arrived here nice and early this morning i have reattached the front bumper which had fallen off and bolt checked everything everything's good a couple of things to tighten up but we are now good for race two and three this afternoon this is the class b ep3 the jdm regiment sponsored car that i was having a bit of a battle with at the beginning of race one but unfortunately after i managed to get by he had a bit of an incident which involved, I presume, the engine exploding uh, and he was pulled in on the uh, entry to Avon Rise, so shame to see that, it was a good battle at the beginning there. Now this little Peugeot was absolutely flying, there'll be none of it on my onboard so I'm going to see if Chris will send me a clip, but unfortunately he had a bit of an incident where the front end of the car got demolished, I can see it's been reattached with some tape and some rivets. But it was absolutely flying yesterday, going really well. Really nice looking car as well, it's really cool. This is the EG that I was desperately trying to catch up to and overdriving the car with a view to getting into a bit of a battle with this fella. We will be starting next to him on the grid today. So hopefully see some good EG battles. Had a little look around it yesterday, but it was awkward because he was here and I was a bit spazzy about it, but it's a really nice setup. It's very, very similar in terms of um, bodywork to mine. It's got real N keys, not ankles. It's got a carbon bonnet. They're all fiberglass doors. Um, it's Dunlops all around, so it's a little bit more tired up than what mine is. So maybe a bit more gripped up. But this is a K20, which he says is 190 horsepower, and the car is under a ton with driver. So he says it should be bang on the limits. We'll see if we manage to get side by side. So I didn't see this out yesterday, but this is a properly cool GT3 challenge car. Everything about this car is unbelievable. There's some other cool stuff like this, which we'll have a look around shortly. So I've just been talking to these guys here. This BMW is built for some endurance racing. I'll look, detailing, but it's super cool. It's got big old school APs on it. It's fully endurance spec inside, so it's got the big tanks and the cooling. So I don't know what I was doing yesterday, but all of this stuff passed me by. I've got a 360, what well, looks like a challenge car, but there's something not very challenge carry about this wheel setup. But either way, very cool. Not often you see what I still consider to be exotic, all race race ready jesus christ how did we walk past all this yesterday so we've got the mandatory genetas tcr everywhere can't get away from tcr cars so it turns out there's actually two of those porsche gt cars identical and they've been nose to tail through this whole race, they're properly cool. McTowers has been, you know, within a second, almost, then fighting throughout this race. Challenge 
Where's your carer, mate? Someone said you're allowed to sit in that car. Special race cars. <laughs> Many fast. Chris is all ready to go out. He's just getting his cameras set up. Mine's all ready to go. So we'll see you on the grid for race one. Amos says I'm not allowed to finish any higher than sixth. He says if I get into sixth then I can challenge for fifth. I've got to stay back because I'm not allowed to do more than two places in a race. <laughs> We'll see, maybe he's being sensible and telling me not to aim too high. I'd like to just stay in eighth if I can, that would be nice. We'll take seven out of the equation, that's not happening. But yeah, everyone's ready, we'll see you on the grid. Job the stabilization works. Yeah. Parkinson's spec is strong after racing. That is um, race two finished. Some familiar feelings of disappointment because the car ran out of fuel most of the way through the race. You will see in the onboards. So I don't know where we finished. Maybe 12th, 13th. 
I don't know. Not sure when this happened, but my uh, Chinese Ganador. Ah, fixed. Sound. This uh, has come a cropper again. Don't know what I'm hitting there. And then the wing is bent in, but minor casualties. Chris, on the other hand, who had another blinding start, got to the front of the race, has had a familiar looking bump. He's done this before. Yeah, I think this is the fourth time we've had this bumper. Yeah, so this is where it's glued every time. Yeah. Another corner. We need another corner. What happened? Um, I, I guess it was not going to come off the throttle and give a little nudge. Oh, right, okay. You know, Racing if incident. It, if it lifted off the throttle, it would have fell back. For yeah. Us. Racing incident. Yeah, with a little orgy bargy through chicane as well. So Will is the perpetrator of Chris's broken bumper and it looks like <laughs> fair blows were exchanged. It's the same. Yeah. We are currently <laughs> fixing a bumper. Time on it. Come on, Sorry. mate. Go for the <laughs> proper, proper tools. <laughs> this is a hot Allen key that he's been using to melt through the bomb. These boss man. You pikey bastard. You. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, she's a ripper. She's not quite a warm Allen key. Other way. There you go. You want to go through one more, mate?
K24 Civics have done very nicely today. Race two, race three, race two of today was a really good one. Really, really good racing with the red Civic there. Um, it probably looked spicy on screen as well. It was very spicy. I think my rear brake pads are now down to nothing but the metal backers. There's no pad material left on there. So they're to be changed. Oh, hey, up. These boys putting the gazebo away. Yeah. Good race three. It's gone really well. Gonna go and have a chat with some of the guys, make sure I didn't crash into anyone's bumper. But a good race overall. We are completely loaded up after a successful weekend. The car has come away almost completely unscathed. I think it's been a really good one. Everyone's had a good time. Weather's been glorious. Next race, Brands Hatch. Kev's home circuit, so we're expecting big things from Kev there. But me and Josh, who are both racing on the day, have only ever driven there to do our race license. So it's going to be a good day for the two of us. And Dan's racing Air MR2s as well, so big crossover video for the next one. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you at Brands.